In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add ERC20 tokens from the Ethereum blockchain on MetaMask. I know that somebody in my comments on one of the videos has actually asked how they could add a token on MetaMask because they weren't sure exactly on the process. And this is more for beginners. I know that if you've been in this space for some time, I'm sure you've probably done this many times. You've probably traded on Uniswap, which is the decentralized exchange. But for people that are new, they may not know. So they're wondering how they can actually do that. Well, once you install MetaMask, and again, the link can be found in the description of this video, to actually go there and download MetaMask onto your computer, run the setup, install it. Once you do that, you need to set up a wallet. Of course, save that passphrase. And then once you have the wallet, this is pretty much how it's going to look. It's like a Chrome extension in my case, or maybe in your case, it's going to be an extension of a different browser. Maybe you're using Mozilla, maybe you're using a different browser. But if you're using Google Chrome, this is how it should look like in the expanded view. Of course, you should see it on the top right hand corner of your screen as the little Fox symbol of MetaMask. So once you open that up and you create a brand new wallet, this is how it's going to show. I've named it test account. I've got zero ETH in this because the purpose of this video is to show you how you can add the token. So all you have to do in the assets section, of course, you see your ETH here. But if you want to add a specific token, you just click on add token. Once you do that, You've got the option to actually search for the token, which is not really recommended because in the majority of cases, you need to actually add a custom token. And what do I mean by custom token? Well, you actually need the smart contract address of the token, which is also known as the token contract address. And that's basically the address of the smart contract that this token has been created in, right? And every single smart contract on Ethereum is assigned a unique address. And hence why you need to add that address so that MetaMask knows which token you're referring to, right? And uh, of course, then you'll need a token symbol and the decimals in precision. Basically, how many decimals can this token be divided into? And we'll take an example here, which is Fala Network actually building on the Polkadot ecosystem. I have done a dedicated review on Fala Network, but the purpose of this video is obviously to show you how you can get a smart contract address to add this token to your wallet. Okay, and they are actually on the Ethereum network at the moment. So even though they're building on Polkadot, their token is an ERC20 token. So they're on the Ethereum blockchain. So as we can see on CoinGecko, and again, you may be asking yourself, what's CoinGecko if you're new, right? Well, I've done a dedicated video on how you can use CoinGecko and CoinMarketCap and what they're actually used for uh, and, and the tools. And, and I basically go in depth and I explain to you how you use them. So I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you already know how to use CoinGecko. If you don't, do check out that video. But if you know how to use it, you basically go to the token of your choice. You will see the contract session here. And, and I don't always recommend you copy the contract address from, from this section here, but maybe you should go to Etherscan. So, or ETH Explorer. So if you go to Etherscan, it'll actually open up a pop-up on a new tab with the actual information of the smart contract for this token. So we can see here, Fala is a 1 billion total supply token, right? We can see it here, it tells us. It tells us the number of transfers that have been performed so far, 62,000 and so on. But here on the right-hand side, we see the contract section. So here is the unique smart contract address. We also have the decimals, of course. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to copy this address. We go back to MetaMask. We paste it in here. And then as you can see, MetaMask is smart enough to detect that with this token contract address, it's using this specific symbol, which is PHA for Fala. In the past, I actually had to manually enter this information, but now MetaMask has evolved. So this is added automatically and also the decimals of precision. So we can double check that it's 18 by looking at it here. Okay. And of course, we know this is legit because it's pointing to the official website and you got to be really careful with potential scams out there that may try to impersonate a specific token. They'll have a different smart contract address, the same name, but there's no pointing to the official website, right? Because they can't do that. You can't map it twice. So because of that, they'll try to scam you. So you just got to be very careful with that and make sure that it is using the right one. So once you do that, you click on next and here we go. So it's as simple as that. I've got zero balance here. But if I did have any Fala to my address, to my pub, sent to my public address, then it would actually show here in the balance. So now that's all you have to do. You go back here, cancel this, and it actually shows me that I have nothing here because it is zero. But if we go back here, paste this address again, next 
other tokens now it actually shows me so hence why you, it's very important that you need to click on that add tokens button because if you don't do that then you're basically gonna lose it i know i've done that in the past and then i wasn't able to track it back down because i had to go back and copy the contract address again so now if we go back now we can see the fala here okay so we can do exactly the same if you want to add more tokens you go here you add the custom token and you follow exactly the same process so yeah this is a very short video but i know some people especially those that are new they don't understand how this works so yes it, it may seem simple to some that have been in this space for some time but for new people it may seem complex it may seem complicated so again check the description of this video for the link on how you can download metamask download it get a wallet and then follow these exact same steps maybe pause the video if you need to uh, to add those tokens thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you in my next video take care bye, -bye.